Hello and welcome to Seoul for today's video. In our previous video, um, we saw that a cubed a cube couldn't be cubed, and a square could be squared. And it was uh, Martin Gardner's puzzle. If you don't re don't remember exactly uh, what I mean, um, I put a link uh, links of the the videos uh, talking about this subject. And um, I realized something very interesting about this uh, story about the cube and uh, square. So a square can be squared, and a cube cannot be cubed. So since a cube cannot be cubed, we have a very interesting consequence of that. Is that if you go one more dimension, which means four dimension, a tesseract, if you prefer a four dimension uh, hypercube, cannot be tesseracted. It means that divided in uh, uh, smaller tesseracts, all are different in size. The reason for this is that each of the cells of the tesseract, which is a little bit the equivalent of a face on the cube, each of the cells would be a cubed cube, which we know doesn't exist. And again, if you go one more dimension, dimension 5, then you realize that a 5 dimension hypercube cannot be 5 dimension hypercubed because each of its cells would be a, a tesseracted tesseract, which is impossible because a cube, etc. Now, that's where it gets more interesting, is that if you consider the volumes or the 4, 5, 6 or whatever dimensional um, volumes, which means the volume, for instance, of a cube, which is a power of, th uh, the volume is a length to the power of 3, here an integer, cannot be equal to a finite uh, sum of smaller, different integers cubed, each of them cubed. As a consequence of this, this is also true for a tesseract and for the five, five dimension and more, which means for numbers it is also true for the power of, power of three, four, five, six and as big as you want. So, a positive integer to the power of n, with n greater than 2, cannot be uh, the sum of a finite number of positive integers, each of them to the power of n. In particular, a positive integer to the power of n cannot be the sum of two different numbers to the power of n, each of them. What if those uh, two numbers are the same? Well, if those two numbers have, have the same, we got this equation, which is um, a to the power of n plus a to the power of n is equal, is equal to c to the power of n, with a and c being integers, positive integers, even. So we get 2a to the, square, square, uh, to the power of n equals c to the square of, to the power of n and that means the nth root of 2 a is c which is impossible because a is an integer the nth root of 2 is uh, irrational so c cannot be an integer in other words we prove that a to the power of n plus b to the power of n is never equal equal to uh, c to the power of n as soon as n is greater than 2. So, do you think this is a simple proof of uh, Fermat's law theorem? Or do you think there's something wrong in it? I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time for next video. Bye bye.